Good evening, I'm Ron Parker. Thanks for joining us. Tonight we have a very unusual top story, one that may just convince you that we're not alone. Several sightings of an unidentified flying object hovering around the Door County area were reported earlier this afternoon. While most of the reports stated that the sightings were only for a moment and at a distance, two witnesses reported that both of their encounters took place at close range. Right now, we have Paul Paxton with one of the witnesses. Paul? That's all right. Thanks, Ron. Paul Paxton, Channel 13 News. I'm here with William Norris, better known in these parts as Big Willie. And Willie was one of the many witnesses of the unidentified craft allegedly hovering in the area earlier this afternoon. Only Willie claims that his encounter was a far more intense one. Willie, can you tell us what happened out here today? Well, yes, sir. I'd be happy to. I'll never forget it. Well, let's see. It was about 2 o'clock this afternoon. I was cutting a tree with my chainsaw over there. I looked up in the horizon and, and saw what look like a shiny dish rise up into the sky. I thought to myself, now what in the heck is that dang thing? At first it kind of just sat there hovering in one spot. And it looked like it was spinning, but I couldn't really tell at the time. And then it started to move closer to me. That's incredible. What happened then? Well, I really didn't know what to do at that point. I figured if I ran or moved too fast, it might zap me or something. And as it got closer, I, I noticed it had spinning lights on it and the, and the bottom of it was revolving. It came, oh, within 20, 30 yards and then it stopped. Again, incredible events. Were you scared? Yeah, I was kind of crapping in my drawers at that time. I just sat there and watched it hover in front of me for a while. I was praying to God that the thing wouldn't beam me in or abduct me or something, you know, run weird tests on me, you know. I probably would have felt the same way. What happened then? Well, nothing. The thing just took off. It was like it was trying to get a closer look at me or something. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm, I'm really surprised I'm here telling you this story. I, I thought it was a goner for sure. Well, I'd have to agree with you there, Willie. Is this the last we'll see of the alien craft? This has been Paul Paxson for Channel 13 News with William Norris, live in Door County. Back to you, Ron. Thank you, Paul. In just a few moments, we'll be going live to a statement given by Bob Riley, a chief government official of Door County. But first, we go now to an interview with another eyewitness. Good afternoon, Paul Paxton, Channel 13 News. I'm here with Steve Johnson, a local fisherman from Door County, and behind us is the Sturgeon Bay Ship Canal leading to Lake Michigan. Now, Steve's been fishing this area for over 10 years, and today he has probably the biggest fish story of all time. Steve, why don't you tell us what happened? Well, Paul, like you just said, I've been fishing this area for over 10 years now, and you know I've never seen anything like what I saw today. Just down here in my favorite spot, had my line in the water, Happened to glance up over the lake and saw something real shiny in the sky. Didn't really think nothing of it. Looked back down on my bobber and a moment or two later I kind of realized, you know, this wasn't nothing I've seen in the sky before. So took a look back and when I looked back it was slowly hovering right in my direction. In front of where I was sitting and just kind of stopped. Hovered there for a couple of moments. It was uh, saucer shaped, had flashing lights revolving around the rim. and Just sat there for a moment or two and then it started to glow real bright just took off into the sky over there and by the time I realized what was going on I had a fish on my line and turned out to be a pretty good day. Well that's amazing to see you have such high spirits after what just happened. This has been Paul Paxson reporting for Channel 13 News. Now a pre-recorded statement by Bob Riley, a local government official. Riley claims that the object witnessed this afternoon was an experimental, fully automated weather balloon being tested in the Door County area. Riley states the balloon closely resembles what people may call a UFO because of the instrumentation on the exterior and also for the way that it moves on its own. We go now to Bob's statement. I would like to read a prepared statement in regard to a recent incident involving the first test launch of a PZ-2000 weather balloon. Historically and geographically, Door County, being an 88 mile long peninsula extending into Lake Michigan, sustains unusual weather patterns unlike other areas of the state. A weather testing facility is maintained here in Door County. We understand that there was a bit of confusion today because of this incident. It was the weather facility's original intention to keep this test confidential because of the possible, possible technical issues. But because of the reports made earlier today to our agency claiming UFO sightings, 
we decided that it was time to announce it to the public at large. The PZ-2000 is a fully automated weather balloon that operates using a GPS locating system. It can maneuver over and around trees and accelerate and decelerate at random speeds. Just like any other weather balloon, the PZ-2000 measures temperature, humidity, and air pressure. The balloon then sends the information through radio transmissions to our weather facility here in Door County. Because of the way the balloon looks and maneuvers, it could be mistaken for a craft of mysterious nature, such as a UFO. Also, because of the confidentiality of the project, we are unable to disclose any video or photographs of the balloon until all of the technical issues are worked out. Thank you. Quite an amazing machine, but without any physical proof or documentation of this new weather balloon, does it eliminate the possibility of an actual UFO encounter? Tom Miller joins us now from UW-Madison. Tom is an expert on UFOs and is also one of the head representatives of the National UFO Network, otherwise known as NUFON. He claims that this craft has been witnessed before and also recorded on tape. Tom, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Ron. Glad to be here. Now, Tom, tell us about this craft that was documented. It was said that it closely resembles the craft that was witnessed in Door County. Is that true? Yes, Ron, that is correct. The UFO was reported back in 1998 in the Outagamie County area, and ironically enough, the footage shows a craft that matches the description of today's craft, hovering slowly as if it were observing the area. Can we play the clip so I can point out a few things? Okay, here we go. Notice the flashing lights on the sides. Okay, now look at the bottom of the craft. See how it's spinning? I can't think of any reason why devices like that would be needed for measuring atmospheric conditions. You can clearly see that this phenomenon or whatever you want to call it, is far more advanced than any technology we have today. Now look, see how it hovers slowly over the houses and then stops? Now why would a weather balloon need to do that? Now watch this. That was no weather balloon. Now how do we know this it wasn't some hoax or forgery meant to look like a UFO flying over those houses? Well Ron, I'm glad you asked that question. I've had this clip for a few years now, and believe me, I've looked at it and had it analyzed by more than one expert. According to my specialists, there were no computer enhancements or additions found in this clip. Based on that analysis, I feel it's safe to say that this was a genuine UFO and not an experimental weather balloon. Now, do you think that today's incident and the clip that we just witnessed are somehow related? I guess what I'm really trying to ask is, do you think it's the same craft that we're seeing in both of these cases? Well, based on the matching descriptions and the closely related locations, I would have to say yes. It could definitely be the same craft that we've been seeing. But what I can't tell you is why it's showing up here in Wisconsin and not anywhere else. But who knows? Maybe it has been. It just hasn't been reported. Thanks again, Tom, for your insight and that very convincing footage that we just saw. Tom Miller of UW-Madison, giving us his thoughts on today's events. Was this the last we'll see of this phenomenon, or is there more to come? When we come back, we'll have your weekly forecast with Mark Anderson, followed by sports with Jake Bakley.